Welcome, listener. You've stumbled upon the unexpected podcast. Whether you're meant to be here or not, you might want to prepare yourself for a world of stories you won't hear anywhere else. They are, after all, quite unexpected. Lawnmowers! One of the most cursed devices mankind has ever conceived. For these instruments of death and destruction can be wielded by anyone, including friends, families, and lovers. Countless limbs and lives have been torn apart by these machines. If you added up all the fatalities from lawnmowers, they would surpass the death totals of every war in the history of mankind combined. However, lawnmowers can sometimes be used for good. Perhaps they can even save a small town from imminent destruction. Or perhaps they can cut right through and shorten the relationship of two brothers forever. The only way to find out is to listen in our first tale of this year's Summer of Scares. Mowing Lawn Man! Willie, what do you want, man? Can't you see I'm busy? Mowing a lawn? Yeah, sorry. I was just saying, man. It's a hot one out there. That's it? You made me stop because of that? Willie, come on. You know I take my summer lawn mowing job seriously. In fact, I'm pretty sure you know that keeping everyone's grass under four inches is how our town keeps Griha, the ancient grass demon, locked in his eternal slumber so he doesn't emerge and lay ruinous waste to the entire human species. Not to mention, I'm trying to impress Susie here. Yeah, I mean, I do know all that. I just thought you'd have a minute to chat with your little brother. Okay, fine. Oh, boy, it's a hot one out here. It's got to be like, what, 75 degrees Fahrenheit? Whew. And who even knows what that is in Celsius? Have you gone bananas? You already said all that. Oh, yeah. So... You really like Susie, huh? Yeah, I guess. I told you I've had a crush on her since forever, right? You remember how, back in first grade, when we first moved here, I had such a hard time making friends. Not you, though. You were always Mr. Popular. But me? No one even came to my birthday party, Brian. Then one day, Susie came up to me in class and introduced herself. Later that day, we had our lunches together. Peanut butter and jelly. After that, we played in the playground, and we laughed so hard, I fell over and skinned my knee. Ah, She was also the first person who told me about our town's paralyzing fear of Griha the grass demon, and how he'll murder every single citizen and rip out our entrails if we don't take proper care of our lawns. But then after that, she walked me home and gave me a kiss on the cheek. (sighs) It was the best day of my life. Whatever, I ain't got time for sappy stories. Got lawns to mow. Later, dweeb. What's the use? Thanks for coming to Dairy Duchess, Mr. Murplestern. Please come by again. Um, so, uh, 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 hey Susie. Guess what? I'm, uh, making pretty good progress on my summer goal of learning French. Oh yeah, that's cool or whatever. Tu es si belle et je t'aime? Yeah, me too. So how's your brother doing on becoming the town's mowing lawn man? Such a cool thing, you know? No! It's not a cool thing, okay? All he's gonna do is mow a bunch of lawns. Big deal. Yes, but we haven't had a new mowing lawn man in 50 years. After old man Parsons died, we thought we were doomed. But then your brother stepped in to save us by keeping the town's grass at an acceptable length so Griha the grass demon doesn't disembowel every man, woman, cat, and child in this city. You know what? Ever since I've lived here, I haven't seen one sign of this grass demon. 
I'm starting to think the whole thing is a bunch of malarkey. Shh! Billy, watch what you say. He could be listening. Who? The grass demon? <laughs> Give me a break. No, our manager and part-time city councilman, Henry Wrinkles. Oh, who cares about Henry Wrinkles? What I'd like to know is why are you so fascinated with my brother? Willie, clearly you don't understand anything about women. A man who can push an engine with little blades on it and oh, cut all that grass. Oh, I don't know. It just gets me going. What about a man who can speak French or who's read all the classics, who can debate philosophy and the arts? You know, a man who's a kind and gentle soul. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Will you kids get back to work? I lost my sock in the vanilla ice cream machine again and need someone to get it out. Sorry, Mr. Wrinkles. I'll go get it. No, no. It's Willie's turn. Willie, let's see a smile, huh? I mean, I know this isn't some important job like mowing lawns, but you can at least feign a little enthusiasm. Psst. Hey, Willie. Yeah? What's up? Can you tell your brother I said hi later? Ah! Ooh, look at that. Somehow my underpants fell in there too. Come on, kid, roll up your sleeves. Thanks for the vanilla cone, Mr. Wrinkles. Something wrong, Willie? You're usually in a better mood while licking your cream. It's just that, well... I'm pretty sure Susie left early tonight, so she could go on a date with my dumb, non-French-speaking brother. You know, Willie, you, you shouldn't always compare yourself to your brother. It's a game you'll never win. I mean, my brother is a big city lawyer with a beautiful wife, three children, and makes mid-six figures a year. But every time we see each other, well, it's obvious he wishes he was the one our father chose to run the Dairy Duchess. Your job is important, Willie. You sell vanilla ice cream, and you're good at it. But your brother's job is also equally important, because as the mowing lawn man, he prevents this entire small town from apocalyptic levels of genocide. Oh, great. Is this a pep talk? Just because you're a city councilman and manager at the Dairy Duchess, do you think you know everything? I love Susie, and she doesn't even act like I exist sometimes. My life is over. Willie, let's stop a moment by this bench. Now, sit on my lap. Okay, let me ask. When's the last time you had an actual conversation with Susie? Like, more than a couple words. I don't know. She talks to me at work sometimes. You know, like, when we're low on ketchup? That's nothing but chit-chat, gibberish, and twaddle. Willie, to connect with someone's heart, you simply have to be yourself. There's no other way to find your soulmate. I mean, sure, your brother is the only one who can mow some lawns and be the hero we need to save us from our own violent and painful demise. But when it comes to love, why, it's anyone's game. So keep your chin up, okay? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, this is my street. I'm gonna get off your lap now. Thanks for walking home from work with me, City Councilman Wrinkles. No problem. And hey, do you? I'm just Henry Wrinkles. All right, well, I'll be camping in the park again tonight. Even as city councilman and manager of the Dairy Duchess, I still can't afford to buy a car in this economy. <laughs> well, if you get bored and want to go skinny dipping later, let me know. Good night, Willie. Maybe Henry was right. Maybe I do still have a shot with Susie. Well, I wonder what's for dinner tonight. Susie? Why are you here in our living room? Brian, why are you down on one knee with the ring in your hand? And that's why, now that I have officially become Grassfell's mowing lawn man, I'd like to go ahead and make the best day of my life even better. Susie, will you marry me? Yes, of course I will! <laughs> that's it! They didn't even see me standing there. I don't even exist to either of them. I hate you, Brian! Sometimes... Oh, sometimes I just wish that damn grass demon would come back and show everyone what for. The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast will return after a short word from our sponsors. Having a hard time getting that mower started? Oh, I sure am. 
Hurt your back trying to grab that rake from up there? Yes, I did. Ouch. Hurt your elbow there, slipping on that motor oil and falling down on- Stop it! Get out of my garage! This isn't funny anymore! <laughs> you don't have to feel this way anymore. With Grijalto, your summer yard work pains are a thing of the past. Independent studies have shown that Grijalto's unique properties regenerate your muscles faster than the typical muscle builder. Several study participants report relief of pain symptoms within as little as two weeks. You deserve to feel the sunshine, to feel present in the moment, to feel wind in your hair, to be yourself again. You deserve an alternative when nothing else has worked. Though users of this medication experience less side effects than with other common muscle regenerants, side effects may still include dry mouth, blurry vision, demonic hallucinations, itchy trigger fingers, a desire to eat grass, and temporary baldness while the body normalizes the medication. Rialto, your ass doesn't have to be grass anymore. Well, if you're not going to leave my garage, could you at least help me up? No. We now return you to your tale here on the Unexpected Podcast. Stupid Brian. Stupid town. <laughs> Stupid lawns. Hey, Nerdlinger. Stop pacing in the backyard mumbling to yourself. It's almost midnight. You're giving mom and dad the creeps. Fuck you, Brian. Go make out with your lawnmower you love so much. You know what? While you're at it, you might as well go have sex with it, too. Maybe it'll cut off your teeny weeny dick. Nah, I'd rather head out to make out point with my fiance. We're gonna go make out. Maybe more. <laughs> Later, loser. You think lawns are so great, huh? I don't even need a lawnmower. I'll just use my hands. <laughs> it's not fair. Why couldn't we have moved to a normal place like Sheboygan instead of this horrible little town? <laughs> Cheer up, child. Huh? Who said that? It is I, Gria, the grass demon. It appears you have summoned me. Holy cow, you are real. And you're talking to me telepathically. What do you want from me? I think we can come to a little understanding. After all, do you want to live in the shadow of your big brother, the mowing lawns man forever, and watch as he finger bangs your girl all over town? Seems like you and me got the same problem. A problem named Brian. I... I guess I see what you mean. That's right, you do. Now you must come and free me from the basement of City Hall. It won't be easy. It will take much effort and may just cost you your very life. Huh. That was easy. Yeah, City Councilman Henry Wrinkles was keeping me chained up in the basement of City Hall here. Thankfully, you found the key in his desk. <laughs> hey, kid, why are you looking at me like that? What's wrong? You ain't never seen a grass demon before. You look like a goat with green fur walking on its hind legs. But you're the size of a morbidly obese man? Well, you look pretty weird to me, too. Show some tact. I'm, so, I'm sorry. This is just a lot to take in. All those legends about you and about the mowing lawns man, it's all true. Yes, sometimes it's painful how true it really is. All my demon brothers and sisters getting to roam around, possessing people, causing plagues and pestilence. Well, I'm a grass demon who can only cause havoc when the people in one specific town forget to cut their grass. It's a real bitch if you think about it. You must feel bad for me. Sounds like we both got the shaft with regards to our siblings. Yeah, ain't life grand. But let's not fret. Sometimes you gotta make your own havoc. Now let's get to work. I've got a plan. Well, Griha, I hope you don't mind Jello for dinner again. I found a whole box of this stuff when I was dumpster diving behind the grocery store. Oh, wait. Mariha! City Councilman Henry Wrinkles, right on time! But you're free! Willie, why are you here? 
Your good friend Willie just freed me. I had to, Henry Wrinkles. He's gonna help me win over Susie. No, Willie. No, don't you see what you've done? You've doomed this town. Now we'll see how you like getting chained up in the basement of City Hall. Ha ha ha! No! I tell you, don't get my eyes. Later, loser. Now, Willie, on to the second part of my plan. Ain't no one who can stop us now. <laughs> Sorry, Henry Wrinkles. No. No. No! Huh. Well, joke's on them. Being chained up in a basement has always been a dream of mine. Mmm, jello! Attention, shoppers. House Depot will be closing in 10 minutes. We also wanted to let you know about our incredible savings on light bulbs, patio sets, and power saws. In the unlikely event, you need to use one on yourself to avoid Greha the grass demon slowly mutilating you and your loved ones. Have a good night! Okay, so... What are we doing in House Depot at this time of night anyway? You never really explained this part. According to ancient doctrines set forth by my demonic parents, my strength is relative to the length of the grass in Grassville. So we're going to buy a ton of fertilizer tonight and secretly spread it all over town. What? Look, I really don't have that kind of cash to buy 75 pallets of fertilizer, if I'm being honest. How long would that take to go into effect anyway? About four to six weeks. Four to six weeks? Yes, or a month to a month and a half if you prefer. What on earth? A giant green goat? Oh, <laughs> uh, th this is my cousin. He's from out of town. Thought it was Halloween today. <laughs> uh, look, Griha, I don't have weeks. The wedding is tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Brian said they had to get married quick before all the lawns started growing again. City Councilman Henry Wrinkles is supposed to officiate. Once they find him chained up in City Hall, they'll probably figure out we were behind it and come after us. Okay, okay. Hmm, wait a minute. Oh, another plan just came to me. Yes, yes. Why didn't I think of this sooner? It's so perfect. There's no way it can fail. What is it? Does your dad own a gun? Um, I think so? Perfect! Go grab it and meet me at Makeout Point. Huh? Where are you going? I have to take a major grass dump for your information. The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast will return after a short word from our sponsors. The soothing sound of the seas. A tropical forest at night. Three goats of different political beliefs and socioeconomic backgrounds having a deep conversation about the state of world affairs. All these beautiful sounds and more on Peaceful Moods, the cassette tape. We now return you to your tale here on the Unexpected Podcast. Good job, kid. You brought the gun. Now which car is the mowing lawn man's? I can't tell. It's so dark. Okay, we'll just peek in each one. I, I don't know. This is kind of weird. Maybe we should do the fertilizer thing instead? Hmm. Not them. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a huge cock. Mm -hmm. Like to join in there. Mm -hmm. Ah, here they are. <laughs> now, Willie, look. All I'm going to do is surprise them with the gun. Without his precious lawnmower to protect him, Brian will cower in fear. 
then you run up, take the gun away from me, and Susie will see you're the hero, and Brian's a zero. Sound good? I thought you were going to use your magic or whatever. I, I don't like this. Have you seen how short the grass is? It's barely three inches. I don't have my power yet. Trust me, this'll work. Out of the car! What do you want? Oh my god, it's a giant grass-covered goat creature. No, Brian, that's Griha, the, the grass demon, but how did he get free? Brian has kept every lawn under four inches this summer. That's not the only thing he's kept under four inches. Hey. Now give me all your money and the car keys. Do it. No, no, please don't hurt me. I mean, please don't hurt us. Watch out, Susie. I'll save you. Too bad for Griha. I always keep some round down at hand. Ow! It burns! It burns! Karate chop! Hiya! Ow! <laughs> Willie! Willie, are you okay? What are you doing here? I'm sorry, Brian. It's okay. We, we scared that grass demon away. You're gonna be okay, little brother. I was so jealous of you, oh, but now I see that you're a real hero, unlike me. What? Willie, come on. I was always jealous of you. The way you got such good grades, how you could always find those obscure enemies online and other things. Don't die, Willie. I love you. Oh, really? Yes. Like my own little brother. I love you too, Willie. Oh, I guess I should have appreciated these relationships more. Should have appreciated how I was unique in my own way. Didn't need to compare myself to you, Brian. A lot of things I would have done differently. Like to think I maybe. <laughs> learned a lesson here that maybe sometimes whatever troubles you have you shouldn't listen to demons Hello and welcome to the Dairy Duchess! Wait, Susie? And Brian? Wow, I haven't seen you two rascals in years! Hey, City Councilman Henry Wrinkles! Yeah, we were passing through town and decided to stop in for old times' sake. And for the sake of some of your world-famous vanilla ice cream. Oh, uh, hey you two! <laughs> ah! Watch out everyone, the demon's loose again! Now wait one minute here. Griha, why don't you take a moment to explain yourself? Can't say I blame you both for reacting like that, but I've done a lot of thinking, and I decided that the whole demon thing just wasn't working out for me anymore. City Councilman Henry Wrinkles was nice enough to give me a job here at the Dairy Duchess. Ironically enough, now all my demon siblings are jealous of me! <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know if I can believe you. After what you pulled a few years ago? Look, I know we're all still reeling after Willie's tragic death, which I couldn't help but feel at least partially responsible for. But I think I know how we can move on. I got to understand Willie really well right before I accidentally shot him and then ran off into the woods. And if there's one thing I know, it's that he'd want us all to move on together through life as friends. 
That's why I've accepted City Councilman Henry Winkler's marriage proposal. In a way, it's all a part of accepting who I am and finding real happiness instead of comparing myself to my demon siblings. Just as Willie stopped comparing himself to his sibling, the mowing lawn man, right before breathing his last breath. Wow. What a powerful message, Kriha. You know what, after that night, I did a lot of thinking too. I'd always thought of myself as, you know, the big tough hero. But when you pointed that rifle at me and mocked my below average sized member, I really cowered in fear. Since then, I've accepted that I don't have to be the hero, I can just be me. I just wish Willie knew how I've changed. Yeah, me too. Speaking of Willie, just today we've expanded our offerings. We now sell vanilla ice cream and Willie flavored ice cream. Wow, Willy ice cream? I'll take one of those. Make that two. Make that three! Hey, your break isn't for another hour still. Don't make me chain you up in the basement again. I've heard of going through a rough patch before, but not one like this. Poor oh, Billy. He had dreams of marrying Susie, settling down and buying a plot of land. Instead, the only plot he has now is a burial plot. And the only neighbors he has are worms and maggots. He's quite the recluse these days, as his home is kind of hard to reach considering it's six feet underground. Well, hope you learned a lesson from this spooky summer story. If the fear wasn't too hot for you, please do return next month, where the grass will be greener on the other slime. <laughs> Oh, slime! Oh, I promise that joke will make sense in a month! See you then! The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast is written, produced, and performed by talent from the United States and beyond. Get to know them at www.theunexpectedpodcast.com. Mowing Lawn Man. Story by Dustin Riccio. Screen written by Dustin Riccio, Andrew Socek, and Eric Bergstrom. Directed by Dustin Riccio. Featured actors in this episode are Dustin Riccio, Steph Wilder, Andrew Socek, Eric Bergstrom. Did you like the show? Consider leaving a five-star review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you stream or download your podcasts. Join us on Twitter at Unexpected Show or on Facebook at The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast.